as the thumbnail suggests, this is kind of like a failure. Although I'll let you be the judge of that. So stick till the end to see if it's true. Welcome back to Mimi's Life. Here's another art video in which I do painting and I use acrylic paints and dollar store items. Yes, I do. Everything you see here is from the dollar store. However, the one thing that is not is the pad that I have the uh, painting sitting on. As mentioned, I have only primary colors and black and white. I'm gonna add other colors in the future, but for this painting, I just use the primary ones. Red, blue, and yellow, and then white and black uh, to darken or lighten colors. So for this painting, I decided to start with a, a greenish background. Now, unfortunately, this paint that I have is super, super watery, really wet, and I'm gonna look into some different kind of paint in the future, but I'm gonna use up what I have for now so that I won't waste any of the material. And I mean, in the long run, it still produces an okay result. I'm not, you know, mad at it. did with the other painting I did want it to create a bit of a light source but not super obvious I just wanted it to be you know a bit of a illusion that light is coming through I had a little bit of a thought of what I wanted to create and yeah this is how I'm trying to get a little bit of light into my canvas <music> messed around with this uh, color blending for a little while so I just sped it up for you otherwise this video would get super super long and then it's time to mix some colors for like an outline of trees I was really trying to practice on my trees in this particular painting so I just want something that would create a little bit of a shadow you see there's a little drop on the canvas there I kind of made a little mistake but um, I'm going to work that right in as I start with the outline. And there you go, it's gone. colors I really enjoy doing that it's always fun to create you know like a beautiful new color however I did make a mistake by doing this first because I'm gonna put in highlights in the trees and you'll see it in a minute 
but what I forget to do is to put the trunk in first or an outline of a trunk. So it is a bit hard to put a trunk in after you've already kind of put your leaves on the tree. <laughs> so that was a little rookie mistake there. And I'll try to fix it throughout the painting. So here I'm trying to fix my mistake. I thought, oh boy, I forgot to put the trunk in first and put the leaves kind of over top of it. So I'm trying my best here to fix my mistake. Oh, and by the way, I will have a quote sometime during the video that, uh, you know, was meant to make you, make you think a little bit and would hopefully give you something to ponder. And it's uh, it kind of goes with, you know, what is in this painting. So if you're, uh, Wondering about that? Just uh, stay tuned. And this is what I should have done. There comes that trunk. in with my trusty bobby pin it's become my painting friend real fast <laughs> but it does a good job it makes those trunks you know turn into more of a a trunk like substance I decided to try my hand at a waterfall after I was inspired by watching one of my big inspirations, Mr. Bob Ross. So here's the quote for today's video. A strong person and a waterfall always carve their own path. I really like that. You know, water is amazingly, amazingly powerful. It will carve its own path. And you know what? And what defines a strong person? Tell me in the comments. And while you're down there, think of subscribing to my channel. Now, because I made a mistake and I tried to fix it, I decided to just lay another layer of some highlights and leaves onto that one tree just to kind of cover the trunk a little bit so it looks like you know there is actual depth in the painting say I do like the way that that waterfall is kind of flowing in this painting it does look like it is alive and moving but like I've said in a previous video before I had the white is very watery which makes it a little hard sometimes to get a little you know more coverage with it so 
it's yeah a little bit of a struggle now here in my opinion I made another mistake and I completely and totally covered this space up without leaving much of a shadow to work with so that wasn't a very smart thing of me to do but oh well hey I mean you don't learn unless you make a couple of mistakes right you see I don't like to waste paint I tend to use everything that I have and I I like to add rather than that I have to take away so I refill on paint all the time As I was mixing this, I don't know what happened to my phone, but all of a sudden my video decided to shut off. So you won't be able to see me put in the highlights or low lights, whatever you want to call them that you see in this shot. So sorry about that. Not quite sure what happened there. Technical difficulties, but hey, life ain't perfect either. Neither is this painting. Have you made up your mind yet whether you know you think it's a failure or not? this big blob of whatever right on the left corner there I wasn't happy with it so I wanted to put something to just break that up so here's my attempt of putting in like a, something like bushes a little bit of you know try to create a little distance between parts in the painting but yeah because I did not really leave a whole lot of shadow and I covered the whole thing it is I find it really difficult to, <laughs> to recover from that but you don't learn unless you make a couple of mistakes working on some twigs over there something to just break it up a little bit and then I came up with the idea of putting in a fence just something different than just plain nature something that kind of gives you some proof that humans have been here or that we may be on somebody's property who knows you never know this is you know kind of your own creation you can do with it what you want so I decided to put in the fence back in with that bobby pin because I wanted to create some highlights just to make those posts stand out a little bit better. There you have it. That's the end result. Let me know what you think. I personally don't think it's my best work, but hey, it's worth putting it on here anyway for people to take a look at. Have an awesome day, you guys. Stay happy. Keep your peace. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.